Hello and welcome back to my channel. My name is Cosmina and I am making beauty videos. So today I woke up, I was ready to go in the shower and enjoy a really nice shower and wash my hair and brush my teeth, wash my face and all that jazz. But guess what? No water is running. <laughs> So, so stoked, you know, I'm going to have to go to work without getting a shower. Yay me. All right. Uh, I was able to wash my face with sparkling water. Yes, it's looking so good, isn't it? So anyway, after that, I applied a glass skin refining serum from Peach and Lily. I got this at Ulta when it was on sale. I have so much new makeup. I don't even know what to do with it. Like, it's insane. I bought crazy amounts of makeup. Crazy amounts of makeup. Um, so I thought, why not? Because I'm getting ready to go to work. And why not try some new foundation and new makeup and just kind of go with it and see what we end up with because i have so much in front of me you guys you have no idea that i have like two three four foundations i have about six or seven powders i have blushes i have bronzers i have lipsticks i don't know which one to go Okay, so I am looking over there because I think I'm going to go with this one. Because I just bought this one. The It Bye Bye Foundation Full Coverage Moisturizer with an SPF 50. Um, I heard mixed reviews about these. There's people that really, really love this foundation. There's people that really, really despise this foundation. So I'm like, okay, which way am I going to be at, you know? Um, but I have to say, though, SPF 50, whoo, my skin does not like SPF. And for some crazy-ass reason, every foundation that I'm trying is having SPF on it and I don't know what to do anymore like how am I gonna make my skin um agree with it and like I think one is 10 or or maybe like um SPF 15 or something like that that's 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 the the amount that I think my skin can tolerate but when it is 50 whoo, I don't know no, so I'm gonna take the rest today and just see how this one is gonna do on my skin. Please, dear God, no, no, don't make it really bad. Please don't. All right, so I have the shade neutral medium over here. So um, I'm, I should put a primer on, right? Okay, which primer should I put on? Because I have so many. Again, like I don't know. Why did I buy so much shit? I got way too much. Okay, let's see. Should I get this? Mm, no, I had that one yesterday. I'm going to put mm, the one that I usually like, but this is a moisturizer too. I don't know. Should I put a primer? Let's see. Let's see what it says. Apply liberally 15 minutes before sun exposure, blah, blah, blah. Hmm. This is, is like full coverage moisturizer. So if it's a moisturizer, I should not apply anything under my skin, right? Right? I, I, I'm not gonna apply anything. I'm just gonna leave the skin the way it is right now and just go with the foundation and, and just, just, just see. I don't know. We'll, we'll, we'll figure it out somehow. So I put a big amount over here my hand but i do like a lot of uh i do like a lot of uh what is it a lot of coverage on my skin so let's see how this is gonna be it's looking it's looking promising i mean no yeah, i don't know i'm gonna get my big ass sponge and just go with it. 
So I purchased this foundation uh, mostly because there were so many mixed reviews about it. I was like, you know what? I kind of want to see if this thing is it's gonna perform good or it's gonna perform bad on me. Like, which way is it gonna be? You know. Um, so that's the only reason why I purchased this. Is not that I don't have foundations because I do, and I actually want to go buy and and purchase some of my favorites. Um, but until then, um, I have a few other foundations that I bought that I might, I need to try and just see if they're going to be part of my favorites or not. Hmm. Okay. Well, this color is kind of like a little bit too light, isn't it? Or it's just because, I mean, it's, um, uh, just a tiny bit. But I think once we we finish over here today, it's going to look okay. Alright, so here is getting a little bit cold, you guys. And it's getting rainy and ugly and ugh. How is it the weather at your guys' place? Because... I am, I think we're getting straight to winter. <laughs> Yesterday when I left the house, it was like, what, 55 degrees? It was like, what? That is crazy. What's going on? I'm in Washington State, so you know. So yes, it's, uh, it's the rain season. Okay, so this applied on my skin really nice. Really like the coverage of it. It looks good. Wasn't a problem at all to blend it, anything like that. So, I mean, I don't hate it. I kind of like it, actually. I kind of do. Like, it just, it goes, it covers. It's definitely full coverage. So, that's for sure. It is full coverage. It looks really nice. It looks really good. You know, the color, maybe I could have done a better decision, but uh, yeah, it looks good. So, let's move on and see concealer. What concealer I'm going to use? Um, Because my favorite concealer is still Age Rewind from um, Maybelline New York. I love this concealer so much so much okay so let's apply this one okay so let's blend this thing in i don't even know if i'm gonna apply any eyeshadow today we'll see if i have time okay so my concealer went on really nice and really beautiful on top of this so that's good that's promising now i'm just gonna apply some of the back um under eye brightening setting powder to set my eyes with i'm not i honestly i don't know how people do it i don't know how to set it with uh with a going in with a brush i'm just gonna Tap it, tap, 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 tap. I prefer that better. There you go. Yeah, just a little bit more over here. Under eye set. Now, let's see what we're going to use for bronzer. I have some cool stuff um, around here, but I need to try this. I'm going to try this. I'm going to try this. So I got this. Uh, was it from Sephora? I think it was Sephora. I don't know. They had it on sale, so I was like, yep, please. I need a net bronzer. 
When uh, when do you have enough bronzers though? Never. So what if I have a brown skin? <laughs> Still. So that's the color right there. Really pretty. I like that. It's called the peach, right? Too Faced Bronze Peach Melting Powder Bronzer Infused with Peach and Sweet Pink Cream. It's cream. To go like this. Oh no. I'm gonna go in my finger, huh? That good? I don't know, you guys. How do you do this? Hmm. Okay, so I'm gonna go with this brush. I don't know where from where this brush is, but I'm gonna go with this brush and just try to go. Cause I'm trying not to like push too hard because I don't want to take the foundation off, you know what I mean? And I do like this bronzer actually. I love the color, it looks really good on my skin tone. Nice. Look at that. <laughs> okay, so I don't use a lot of cream bronzer. Actually, I don't use cream bronzers at all. But this kind of looks good. I don't know if I was supposed to put it under my foundation. Maybe. I don't know. But I like it. Does not lift my foundation. Some creams do, but this one doesn't. Okay, so that looks good. I am bronzed up right here. Let me do the nose as well, because I want to be bronzed on my nose. I don't care, it's raining outside. I want to bronze up my nose. There you go. Beautiful. Yes, darling. Very beautiful. Go! Cool. Alright, now ooh, the sunshine is coming. That's why you get to see me better. <laughs> anyway, now uh let's see what setting powder should I apply because me no man do I have setting powders. <laughs> I have I have a bunch of setting powders. I don't know why I purchased so many of them, but again, shopping spree mode. Because it was Labor Day, and then after that, of so many great sales going on in Ulta at Sephora, and I still want to buy more and more. What am I going to do? Oh my god, I'm going to get broke in a minute. Okay, let's see. I am going to apply a blush actually should I, I need to apply a brush so let me apply first I'm gonna apply Milani I'm gonna apply Blossom Time Rose from Milani it's gonna go just a little bit here right here Alright, so I was thinking to go with this Urban Decay All Nighter, but, but I don't know if I should though, because I don't know. I'm not going to go anywhere where I'm going to sweat a lot. Apologize for my cat and my dog. They're purely, it's playtime for them. Um, So that's why all the noises. What I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna go and set it set it with my Pekka uh Hydro Mist Set and Refresh Powder. I got this one uh when it was the sale going on on Ulta's website. And just gonna go with this. I tried it a bunch of times. I do like it actually. I like it a lot. Not gonna lie. And the feeling, I like that feeling. Yes, I do. Yeah, I do do. Let me see. And there you go. 
I like it. I like this a lot. I like how it sets up everything and makes it look dewy, natural, really pretty. So I'm gonna go in. You know what I would realize actually? So I buy gazillions powder, setting powders, gazillion foundations, gazillion lipsticks, and and highlighters. Yes, because I have a bunch of highlighters too. But what I realized, I just realized right now. Sorry, there's a whole show around me with my cat and my dog playing. It's hilarious. Anyway, um, so I just realized that I actually don't buy brow products. Why don't I buy brow products? Oh, I know why. Because I freaking hate a brow product. Every time I tried one, it's like, it's a total mess. So I'm just going to go with my usual until I'm going to run out of it. But... This is my usual all-nighter, pretty vulgar eyeshadow palette. Swoop is the one that I'm using for my eyebrows. All the time. There's going to be a favorites video coming soon. So I'm just going to uh, let you guys know what my favorite products are and I love to use. But first I need to experiment, experiment a little bit more with what I bought right now because there are so many of them. So I may be able to add one or two things in my favorites. But look at that! Wow! Yes. I like it. Yes, I like it really pigmented. That's how I like it. I prefer a brow like that. Very defined. Do not like hey, a color in the front, three things, and then in the end, a little bit darker, and then oh, even darker. I'm like, nah. Same color, please. That's it. Dramatic brow. Yes, please. So after I do, I apply it like that. I go in with Blink Eyebrow Mouse. Uh, eyebrow mousse fountain of youth color uh i reviewed this when i got my blink mystery box you can go ahead and see watch that video i'm gonna link it down below if you haven't watched it yet and just gonna go and see what i got but this i still have the clear one i haven't bought the um, another one yet but i am uh I still, I'm still like liking this one. After I tried it a bunch of times, I still do. So I'm just gonna go over with it and lock this. All right, so there you go. Here are eyebrows as well, and uh, let's do um, highlighter. I am still loving my highlighter or let's just say this pan right here i'm still loving the bronze bronzer and the highlighter from here it's a matte highlighter and oh my god i love it because you know what it doesn't look like i actually uh tried to put glitter under my eyes it just looks natural you know so here we go let me check this one out isn't it how look is so freaking natural and beautiful? I love it. Physicians Formula are rocking, you guys. I did not know they have so many beautiful products, but they do. So let's see. There you go. Now. Uh, of course, I don't have a lot of time uh, in my hands to apply any kind of eyeshadow, but I'm just gonna do something quick. You know, let me check the time. <laughs> five minutes, five more minutes, I gotta go. Okay, so I'm gonna do something quick with Alomar Cosmetics. I have this eyeshadow, Reina del Caribe. I don't know, I never, I didn't. I haven't played with it that much 
Um, but I mean, it's right here, so why not? Let's just see. Uh, I'm gonna go with Coco Taxi, which is this color right here, and apply this all the way on my lo lower on my eyelid. In the lower part of it. I mean, that's a really beautiful shade. You gotta know what it goes good with your skin tone in order to pull off a, a, um, a makeup look. Otherwise, you know, you're gonna look um, a little pale <laughs> or something like that. So I'm, I'm gonna go in with Tropical right here. Why not just do a little bit of this right there? Ooh, this is a summer look. No. <laughs> it is. It's a summer look. All right, and I'm going to go in this area as well. Right there. And what I'm going to do, I'm just going to blend. Blend, 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 blend. And that's the look, you guys. That's all I'm going to do. Nothing much. And that's all I'm going to do. I'm not going to apply anything under my eyes or anything like that. I'm just going to go with mascara. I'm going to go with Big and Bigger Lashes from Milani. Alright, so I wanted to go in on the lower lashes with L'Oreal Million Lashes. I don't know where I put it, guys, though. I don't know where I put it. I like that one on the lower lashes because it's the only one that doesn't uh, flakes or I don't get dark under my eyes. Now I have to put a different one. Ugh. Okay, I'm just going to go in with this one because this one is a, a kind of in the same area but still does a little bit. Um, But it's not going to be as bad as this. The big and bigger lashes from Milani. Uh, so I'm just gonna use this one sexy booster from Physicians Formula. Okay, and for lips, um, for lips, I'm gonna go in and uh, yeah, I'm gonna reapply this. I had it on yesterday, and it's interesting. I kind of like it. <laughs> I did I thought I'm gonna buy it and I'm not gonna like it but I do like it it's Kylie's um Kylie matte liquid lipstick and liner from and the color is Ulta Beauty I know right and I bought it from Ulta yep um but yeah I like this I'll show you the color it is long lasting. The only thing that it's kind of after like maybe five hours is going to be, it's going to get a little bit gritty, just so you know. It's going to get a little bit gritty, um, but the color great so what i would suggest is just have it with you so you can reapply or just get something else that you can reapply all right so here's a lipstick really pretty guys but um i love this uh this shade and the way it applies and the way it looks it looks bomb. I don't know. I heard some good things and I heard some bad things about it. So I was like, I don't know. Should I go and grab it? Should I apply them? Should I buy it or not? So that's why I, buy it. I bought it right now when the Ulta had it for half off. Because I was like, well, if I spend my money and I don't like it, that's okay. Because I only spend that much. Um, but I don't know if you usually apply anything on top of it. I do not. But I do take something with me 
at work just to kind of have something to reapply on top of that. I'm not going to get get it um get the lipstick with me so i'm just gonna get um i'm just gonna get this tony moly petite bunny gloss bar because this is absolutely beautiful and gorgeous and it's worse like miracles so after five hours i can apply this one and it's still gonna look great all right so this is how everything looks like let me show you right there that's how my face looks oh my god mm, that looks good Jeez, i kind of like the foundation it looks really nice you guys hmm and i didn't put any primers under hmm that's interesting well <laughs> we'll see we'll see by the end of the day how it's gonna look like but for now bomb so that's my overall look for today. I am stinky, but I have to go this way at work. So I'm just going to go put my clothes on and head over there. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time with another video and maybe with a better hygiene and my water working. Have a nice one. Bye.